All right, one of my crown jewels, one of the most valuable and rare military rations that I've ever owned, the Food Packet Individual Survival SA-3. The Food Packet Survival Arctic is designed to feed one man for one day in emergency aircraft landings, ditchings, or parachute landings in Arctic regions. This one was produced in 1952. So during the Korean War, it is the nicest one I have ever come across. Well, actually, I had five of these things. They're all about the same condition. Four if I went to some very respected collections, including one going to the Military Ration Museum. So the day has come. I mean, it just, I mean, you can see your fingerprints left over when you press on this thing. It is in mirror-like shape. Most of my find are flecked and rusted. This is incredible. Anyway, it consists of concentrated food bars, bouillon, coffee, tea, sugar, gums, cigarettes, matches, a waterproof bag, and instructions. All right, without further ado, let's check this thing out. All right, let's lift up that key. I'll turn it back now. Lift up that tab. No hiss. What a sight. Okay, so looks like some of the contents may be a little bit compromised. The soluble tea product's compromised. I mean, it's hardened, oxidized. There's another one. But we're going to look at these chicks. Wow. I wonder if this is like an offshoot brand of chicklets or a competitor. Chewing gum chicks, trademark. Look at that. Sure, this is quite the sought-after item for candy collectors. Wow, check that out. Chewing gum chicks. Look at those little guys. Oh, well, you get three packs of those. This one looks like um, maybe some chocolate powder got on it. Some oxidized chocolate. That's okay. Yeah, there's definitely a little bit of oh soluble coffee product. Let's see how this is looking. Well, it's seen better days. It's definitely compromised. And opening that, I can guarantee to you it's just like a tarry, black tarry kind of substance. And it's pointless to open. You know, I want to keep that sealed for presentation purposes, along with the soluble tea product. Again, you can break this open. I can guarantee to you it's just, it's like a solid square very dark black tea that's been hardened up and oxidized years ago. See, look. It's no good. That's okay, though. No big deal. We're just going to get this stuff out one item at a time here. Ah, beautiful. Call for Philip Morris. America's finest cigarette. Made from a blend of the world's finest tobaccos. And that is some right there says it's very hard to read guest package not for sale sample hmm too cool ah yes here are some vintage matches this is the same kind in k rations of world war ii that have the same notice mosquito bites cause malaria look at that and if you're in a malaria zone, keep your shirt on and your sleeves rolled down. Use mosquito repellent when out of doors between sunset and sunrise. Look at that. That's in fantastic condition. I mean, uh, absolutely. Um, huh, wow. I'm sure those still strike just fine. Huh. Beautiful. Beautiful. I just... This is... Wow. I've waited two years to open this thing. Let's get that out of there. Nice. Gotta love camels. Especially the old school unfiltered. <laughs> Incredible. Complimentary, not for sale. To open, push other end. 
too cool. Choice quality. What a fantastic item. Oh, here's something interesting. It's very packed in there, so it's kind of almost like a puzzle on what to remove first. Domino sugar cubes. America's largest selling sugars, a kind for every use. American Sugar Refining Company. Just each one of these items, these especially the cigarettes and these sugar cubes and those chicks <laughs> and the pack of matches, these are just some incredible items. Okay, date cookie bars and coconut cookie bars. Wow, some nice dense food bars and and some interesting foil packaging. GOE Moosley Incorporated, West Warwick, Rhode Island. Each bar weighs one ounce. And date cookie bars and coconut cookie bars. That's pretty nice. Oh, all right. Bouillon powder. That is no longer good. It's kind of a shame. McKay Davis Chemical Corporation, Food Division of Toledo, Ohio, USA. Oh, they got MSG in there. You'd put it in one pint of water. Oh wow, that's all one big block. And here is something I gotta, hopefully I can remove that safely. Let's just peel it up as carefully as possible. This is the instructional pamphlet. And an absolutely fascinating item. I have to say, for the minimal damage here, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do to safely remove that gook which is from and we're going to check this out in a minute it is from the jelly bars yes jelly bar classic old school jelly bars wow look at that oh jeez yeah well something had to not go 100 percent, but that's okay you know we we're going to check this out anyway that's an apple cookie bar very hard to make out with what happened there just now but it's okay another pack of matches not bad Need two little packs of matches and another bouillon powder. You get two things of bouillon. This was a fantastic ration back when 100% fresh. Ah, oh, yes. Sweet chocolate bar. A little one ounce bar. Packed by the same company that made the coconut cookie bars and the date cookie bars. And it looked bloomed, you know. It's to be expected. Oh, and look at that. Wonderful. I mean, when they stick together like that, I mean. You just got to kind of go with it, and it's a little bit of a shame that that happens, but hey, it happens, you know, what are you going to do? A little bit of a mess there. We'll get that cleaned up in a jiff. And there we go. There's a sweet chocolate bar that isn't in absolutely terrible condition. Uh, no, it's pretty bad. It's like powder, you know, but... No big deal. Jelly bar. And here's the waterproof bag. Put all your loose contents in this thing to protect them. Or you put your trash in there, what have you. Alright, well, let's get this cleaned up and laid out. Nice. Yeah, this is something I've been looking forward to for a little while now. Well, I'm going to set a little of this. With the things that I open up, I'm going to set on the top of this top of a World War I mess kit tray lid. So we're going to start off with a jelly bar. You know, classic. What could go wrong? Alright, let's see what this thing's looking like. Oh, jeez. Um, well, you can tell that there used to be, I mean, this used to be red or orange. That used to be green. Oh, boy, the lime. Let's just... Uh, um, say, that's not too bad. You know what? Mmm. Wow, that's nice and fruity. I can't tell what flavor it was, but it almost tastes like fruit punch. I'm guessing that was the red. Let's go for the lime. Uh, <laughs> that's also not bad. <laughs> I didn't expect this to be good, like, at all. Okay. Hey, it was packed by Charms Company, Bloomfield, New Jersey. And those artificial colors and flavors, you know. It's got to be healthy. All right, so guessing lemon. I'm guessing I can't guess. Probably orange. All right. Oh, that just smells foul. Uh, 
Oh, uh, all that lemon. I'll live. Yeah. Well, mm, gotta carry on. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's fruit. Uh, well, fruit, yeah. That's the red. This is the orange. It has to be. This totally tastes like a what once was red. Just gonna have to sample those. I'm not just gonna. See. Yeah, that was orange. That was red. Wait, or was that red? I don't know. But all I know is this was green at one point. Sorry, I just can't sit there and eat the rest of that. One bite of each is fair enough for me. All right, so let's go for. Um, gosh, as much as I hate to open one of these, I mean, oh hey, that's not too bad. The box will still be intact. See what it's looking like on the inside. Oh wow, look at those little guys. Let's go for one. Nice. Oh yeah, I'm saving the other one for after a cigarette. I honestly don't know why I went for that gum first here. Or well, before the cigarettes. Well, I'm gonna save the other one for after these smokes. Hmm. Oh wow, that's a really delicious, that's an excellent all natural spearmint flavor. Hmm. It tastes better than gum, only a couple years old, and this is 64. Nice. All right, so let's go for a date cookie bar, you know. Hey. I'm just going to, well, yeah, let's let's unravel it, you know. I don't want to just rip it open. Maybe try and save the wrapper, if possible. Definitely keeping some of these sealed. Um, but we have to see what this stuff looks like. Somebody's got to do it. Oh wow, look at that bad boy. It actually looks halfway decent, I think. Um, okay, let's go for it. Hmm, wait. Oh. Oh, that's like... Oh, this is sucking all the moisture out of my mouth. It's just... Oh, it's like chewing on... Dirt and a sponge or something. Oh. Man. Okay. Well... I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna save that one for later. Oh. Well, okay. I could actually taste some date in that though. It, oh, it's just so grainy. I mean, oh yeah. Now it's doing the numb tongue. Yeah, there's rancidity. And as for the date, or excuse me, apple cookie bar. I don't know. I mean, these things are literally fused together, and it. <sighs> Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. Here. Well, I'm going to turn him back now. Ooh, let's just take a little teeny nibble on this one. Um, because, oh, oh, jeez. Oh, okay. No. No, that's it on that one. Sorry, guys. I'm not just going to sit there and chow down on what literally tastes like garden soil mixed with a little undertone of apple. This thing's just really I'm telling you. It's just something about those old apple bars. They don't, they don't last. This bar, um, it's gonna stay for display purposes. I'm gonna have to do something about that corner though. This one, wow. Yeah, we're just gonna go for it. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um,. It's so brutally. Oh, that's oh, that's worse than the Hershey's Tropical Bar. Oh, yeah. Again. <laughs> um. Uh, that's just not fair. <sighs> okay, and that one I'm just gonna put to the side. Coconut cookie bar. I have a good feeling about this one. You yeah, know, the wrapper held up. Might be like that date cookie bar. You know, actually, almost maybe still edible. Are well, these edibles so far? No, they wouldn't sustain you. Okay, you'd be sitting there. If you were starving to death, I guess it beats wood chips or wood shavings or something, you know. Or I mean, there's no real sustenance value to something like this. All right, coconut cookie bar. Okay, that's definitely the best one so far, and it's still terrible. Um, oh, wait. No, it's about the same as that date cookie bar. It just has, like... Oh. Never mind. Yeah, I mean, it's just a teeny bite and it's just so strong. Mm. Oh, yeah, total rancidity. Oh, 
Oh, Num Tung Deluxe. Hold on. Let me just sip of water here. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Oh, my mouth is just, it has that coated, rancid, I don't know. It's, yeah. All right, let's go down the line here. Soluble tea products and the bouillon. I'm telling you, it's just, I'll rip it open. It'll be this mess. It'll all be real dark colored junk. This is staying for display purposes. Again, I'm gonna go to the military ration museum and the stuff that's left will be put out on display. Like the Domino sugar cubes, it's sugar cubes. We're gonna save those, okay? No point in fiddling around with that. This jelly bar, there are not many of this old school style left. So we're going to keep that sealed as well. You know, one of each of these is better than none. Ingredients, check that out. US certified food colors. You know those aren't certified anymore, most likely. Charms Company, Bloomfield, New Jersey. It's a two ounce bar. The jelly bar was definitely the best thing so far. Well, that and the chicks. And this is tar, okay? Again, it has to be safe for display purposes because that old school style of soluble coffee product uh, pack, that's just, it's extremely uncommon by this point. And I'm not, I'm not just gonna rip it open just to show you what I've already showed you would say, those ration combat individual B units when you rip one open and it's got the coffee and the coffee's just like dry molded black tar. All right, so I just wanna give a quick look at this. This is page one. It's a whole pamphlet. Now I'm gonna just kinda scroll through it. You pause and read. That's it, eight pages. All right, so let's check out these smokes. Well, this is looking nice. Let's first start out with a call for Philip Morris. Lift this up. Push it the end that way. Looking nice. Smells delicious. Oh yeah, those are in perfect shape. Those are looking really good. Philip Morris Limited Special Blend. All right, and now we're gonna check these out. Gonna have a two for one tonight with smokes. Boy, am I gonna Enjoy this. Oh, they smell amazing as well. Perfectly preserved. Nice. Look at that faint writing of camel. It's just very lightly printed. I like that. All right, so what do I start with? Camel or Philip Moore? I'm gonna go with the camel, actually. Let's try out those old matches to see how they're working. Mm, a dry pull. It's always a, <laughs> wow, wait. Yeah, sweet, like honey, a little bit of rum almost. I swear to you, it tastes like sweet. Mm. Slight undertones of rum, a little bit more honey. It's weird, like an oak wood or something as well. Last time I had those Philip Morris, it tasted like cedar. These aged cigarettes, they give a nice complex flavor every time.
never fails. Doesn't matter what they're worth. This is priceless. For me at least. Oh wow. Hit me hard too. Nicotine rush every time, but this one, hmm. Wow. I just don't know how I, I mean, I guess because it's unfiltered and I don't smoke every day anymore. So this is a real treat. Hey, look, palm balls. Gotta say, nothing hits harder than that Chesterfield from that RCI accessory packet can. And um, that Marlboro, even though it had the filter, it was the smoothest, but it was still very strong. All of these are strong cigarettes. Stronger than ones you'll pick up in a store nowadays, and they taste a lot better, and they're ten times more smooth. You know what I like about these old smokes? Everything. What an incredibly delicious and enjoyable smoke. Camels from 1952. Boy, if I wasn't already lightheaded enough already, we're gonna go double fun. He's Philip Morris. This is gonna lay me out. On the dry pull, it's not sweet, but it's bold. And just has that cedar undertone. Again, not as complex of a dry pull flavor as that camel. But we're gonna see how this is, the Philip Morris. Cedar. Just like the last one. Wow. Can't buy this anywhere. Actually, that's more enjoyable than the camel to me right now. No idea why. It's not as hard of a hitter as the camel. It's a little bit lighter. You know, when you're not smoking every day like you used to, it's just not quite the same. This is like my favorite part. I'm waiting two years for this on this SA3. Kind of at a loss for words with this one. Plus the nicotine buzz is so strong, I'm like a little bit fogged. Not bad. Let's put that out. Cause I can't, I can't keep smoking these things. I'm gonna die. Well, I need to freshen up my palate. Mmm, I needed that. As I'm enjoying this all natural 64 year old spearmint chicks gum, I'm gonna conclude this. This was the food packet individual survival Arctic 3 from the Korean War era. Wow, that's all I can say. What an experience. This is Steve1989 off mreinfo.com. Hope you liked the video and thanks so much for watching. I'll be coming back at you with something new or old. Alright, cool. See ya.